What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to search Meeps for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at searching Meeps for a Twitter clone app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to add a function to search for Meeps. So we want to be able to look up Meeps, and we're going to be searching in the body of Meeps. So somebody types in Meep, we want to be able to search for that Meep or a word in that Meep. How do we do that? That's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So the first thing we need to do is create a URL because I'm going to create a separate page to search and return the searches on. So we need a, a URL for that. So I'm just going to grab any of these guys here. This one will work just fine. And let's come here and paste this in. And I'm going to call this what search something like that. There we go. And this is going to be a views dot. I don't know, let's call this search. And we're going to name this again, search. So okay, go ahead and save that. Now let's head over to our templates and create a new file and control s to save as and I'm going to call this search dot html. And this is going to be the actual page where we can submit a search and get the results also. So I'm gonna come over to my home page here. And I'm just gonna copy all of this and paste it in here. And then let's get rid of all of this stuff. And let's say search meeps right there. And then I think we can get rid of most of this stuff here. So I'm just gonna take Well, let's keep this form thing down here. So uh, we will get rid of that we need the token, we don't need the form itself. We'll keep the button. And that looks good. So instead of post meep, let's have this say search meep on this button here. And we'll play around with the rest of this form stuff in a minute. Right now I just want to get this page sort of up and running so we can see that we've got something to work with here. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And yeah, that looks good. So now we need a view. So let's head over to our views.py file. And let's just come down here to the bottom somewhere. And let's define search. We want to pass in the request. And then let's just return render. We want to pass in the request, we want to send it to that search.html page. And for now, let's just pass in a dictionary of nothing. So okay, let's go ahead and save this. Now we need a link to this on our nav bar. So let's head over to our nav bar page. And that is Let's see where we're we at right there. And let's just scroll down here to the login section. I don't know, copy one of these, it doesn't really matter. You know, we've got some logic here to see if you're authenticated or not. Um, let's put this outside of all of that. Because we don't really care if somebody's logged in for them to search meeps, right? I guess. So we'll send that to the URL search. And we'll say search right there. Alright, let's go ahead and save this head back over to our website and hit reload. And okay, we got this little search thing up here. Maybe you wanted to say search meeps or just search. That looks fine. So I'll just leave it like that. Now if we click on this, it goes to this page, it says search meeps, there's a button and nothing else. So okay, so far so good. Now let's put a little form field on here that we can type something into to actually search. So I'm just going to head over to get bootstrap and click on docs and come down here to forms and overview form control. And let's just grab one of these. This one will work fine. It's an email form, but we'll modify it. And I think it's this guy right here. Let's just copy this line control C to copy this head back over to our code and let's go to our search page. And so we've got this form method post, we've got a CSRF token, which is a, which is a cross site request forgery token which makes it harder for hackers to hijack a form. And I'm just going to paste this in. Now this is a type of input, we want this to be an input box, class form control, we don't need to have an ID on there. So I'll just get rid of that. And for the placeholder text, let's just type in search meeps. And we also want to give this a name of search. 
So, okay, this looks good. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over to our website here, hit reload. Okay, so we've got this. Ah, we want some space after that. So let's add a couple of line breaks. We probably want a couple of line breaks after the form too. And down here, let's type in you searched for, and then leave this for now. So, okay, let's head back over to the website, take a look at that. Okay. Looking good. So we've got this thing. We've got a form. It says search meeps and placeholder text until we start typing. There's a button underneath it. It says search for. All right. So far, so good. So now we want to have whatever we type into here. So meep or meeps. When we hit enter, we want to send this to our back end to our views.py file and then do something with it. So let's play around with that. So let's head back over to our views.py file. And inside of here, let's do some logic. Let's go if request dot method equals post, right? So if the request method is post, it means they filled out the form and click the button. Otherwise, let's say else, it's going to be a get method, which means they're just trying to get the page. They're just trying to show the page, in which case we just want to return this. But if they posted, we also want to return this, but we want to do some other stuff too. So Let's grab whatever they typed into that box. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it search. And that's going to be the request dot post. And then we just use the square brackets and type in search. Why search? Well, because on our search page, we named this form field right here, search, right? If we name this Bob, right, then over here, we would type Bob, right? But we named it search. So <laughs> I'm going to Go ahead and change that back. There we go. Save that again. Come back over here. So this will grab whatever we typed into that box and assign it to this search variable. So just for now, let's just send that back to the page. So we can do that in our context dictionary here. So let's just pass in search colon search. Go ahead and save this. Now let's head back over to our page. And down here, let's say, do some logic. Let's say if search. That means if it returned a search thing, then well, let's just print out search onto the onto the screen. And we also always need to end our if. So right here, maybe we want to make this a little bigger. Let's make this H3. So the text is headline three size. It's a little bit bigger. It's not as big as H1, where it says search meeps at the top of the screen, but all right, that looks good. So let's come back over here and test this thing. We we'll hit reload. Well, first I'm going to say uh, John Elder, right? Search meeps. It says you searched for John Elder. All right. So we're able to type something into the box, send it to the back end, grab it, send it back to the page and put it out on the screen. Now, obviously this is not really what we want, but maybe we do want to put this on the screen so that when somebody searches, they're reminded of what they searched for, right? So, okay. Now we need to just look up whatever they typed in, in the database and return the meeps for whatever they typed in. So. We can do that. Pretty simple, actually. Let's head back over to reviews.py file. And right inside of here, let's search the database. And right up here, let me say, grab the form field input or whatever. Okay. So search the database. How do we do this? Well, I'm going to create a variable called searched, call it whatever you want. And this is just going to be well, first, let's look at our models.py file real quick, just to remind ourselves what we're looking at here. So remember, we have this meep model. This is the thing that holds all the meeps. It's the meep model. And inside it has a body, right? So we want to search all of the bodies of all of the meeps. How do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's come back over here and we want to go meep.objects. We want to search all the objects with a filter of what? Well, we want the body underscore underscore contains to equal something, right? So this body underscore underscore. Now these are two underscores, you see, right? It's not just one big one. It's two underscores. And the body is just from our meep model dot body, right? It's just the body of all the meeps. So we're, we're filtering for that to contain what? Well, we want it to contain search, which is the thing they typed in right here in the input box. So this will just search the database, search through all the meep bodies, all the meeps basically, and find all of the ones that have the word that the person typed into that box. 
and then it'll just assign it to this searched variable. So now we could just return this searched back to the page. And we can do that in our context dictionary just by going searched colon searched. So okay, let's go ahead and save this head back over to our page. And inside of here, probably in this if statement, let's just print out searched and see, you know, what the heck this returns, it's going to return an object, let me put a couple of line breaks here, just so it's easier to read. And it's going to be objects that are gobbledygook, but we want to at least look at it once to see what's going on here. So uh, let's head to the home page and meep 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 a lot of these say meep. So let's search for the word meep. I don't know. And here we go. This is the query set basically that's returning and you can see here's one meep. Here's another meep. Here's another meep and another one. And this is an object, right? So it's not that useful just to look at it like this, but it's good to look at it once just to see what it's actually returning. So you can see inside of here, it has the meep, the, uh, the person that posted it, the date, the body, all the things that come with a regular meep. So we can just sort of loop through here if we want and output these things. So let's go for meep in searched. We just want to print out the meep, right? And let's add a couple of line breaks. And as always, we immediately want to end our four. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this, run it again. And again, let's search for meep, because that seems to be in a lot of our meeps. And here we see admin on this date typed, this is my first admin meep. This one says this is my second meep. This is my first web page posted meep. This is Tim's first meep. Uh, meep for life, right? Uh, if we wanted to search for potato. Earlier, I posted one that says I am a potato. And there it is. And you can see right here, it says you search for potato, that's kind of useful. We might want a line break after this one for some more space. So let's see, like right here, maybe something like that. Come back over here, hit reload. Okay, that looks a little better. So all right, this is great. But you know, it's still not looking great. If we head back to the home page, we kind of want this whole thing to show up. So instead of having it just a line of text, let's head back over to our home page. See, where did that go? There it is. And here's the for meep and meeps loop there. I'm just going to copy all of this stuff right out of here, right down to the end for statement, copy this, let's head back over to our search page. And instead of this, let's just paste in all of that stuff. So I think we could just get away with pasting it all and not even tinkering with it. I think thing because it says meep there. And we're we classified that as meep. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and save this head back over here. Let's type in potato. <laughs> and search and boom, you search for potato. I'm a potato. It's got all the things the image, we can click on the exit, the tweet itself and look at it, we can like it or unlike it. Let's see here, we can unlike it, like it or well, it'll disappear because that search is no longer here. But you get the idea. If we search for meep again, boom, we get all of these meeps. And uh, nicely kind of formatted, and pretty good. Now one last thing I'm going to do just for fun, I'm going to come down here and just, I don't know, add a few more line breaks, just in case there's a lot of them. So there's a little space at the end of the screen. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Now here you could play around with this, put it in a little box, make it look nicer. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. But uh, yeah, pretty simple and really functional. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeweed.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeweed.com, and I'll see you in the next video.